How's it going, everyone? This is Jesus Quesadilla, and I'd like to welcome you to the 18th episode of Let's Play Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories. So, welcome back, everyone. I hope that you're doing extraordinarily well this fine day. Uh, we're here outside of Lance's crib uh, with Vic Vance, and today we're going to go ahead and do a mission for him. Last episode, we wrapped off things with the Mendez brothers, at least for now. So uh, today, why don't we go ahead and see what Lance has in store for us. Turn on, tune in, bug out. Goddamn remote falling behind the sofa. Lance! Oh no! Lance, get over here and explain yourself! Shh. The hell? Stop acting like a child. Shh. Don't you shush me! Keep your voice down! Yeah, the CIA's you watching us. Shoelaces. You telling me how to behave? Will you shut up, you stupid gorilla? The place is bugged! Oh, called it. Damn, I'm good. Although I'm not too happy about being correct. <laughs> hey, where you going, man? We're gonna have bugs in all our places, and by the time you find them all, we'll be halfway through a long jail term. What am I supposed to do? These bugs transmit long range, so knock out all the police antenna. The DEA won't even get a signal from these things. That sounds way too complicated. What? Wait, why can't we just take out the bugs? Lance, you always overcomplicate things, buddy. Okay. Okay, evidence is being collected against you. Hurry up, so I guess that's kind of like a pseudo-timer. Well, let's see what we got to grab at ammunition. Um, whoa, what the hell? The marker just disappeared. Uh, come back. I need you to be there. Uh, there it is. That was weird. Ooh, a rocket launcher for free? Damn, it must be my birthday. Either that, or I just have a frequent buyer card or something. Alright, sweet. Uh, you wanna get in the car there, Vic? Thank you, that would help greatly. Okay, grenades can also be used to destroy the antenna. Alright, so I guess we just gotta race around before the time limit's up and blow this shit up. This is my kind of mission. All this talk about, like, radio antennas and stuff like that just reminds me of Far Cry 3. I finally picked that game up the other day from, uh... Target, it was on sale for like 20 bucks, so I grabbed it for the PS3, and that game is ridiculously awesome. Love, love, love that game. But, um, but, uh, basically, if you haven't played that game, you can, uh, unlock weapons and parts of the map and stuff like that in the game world by, uh, activating radio towers. So that's just kind of what I'm thinking of. But, alright, let's go ahead and see. I guess they're up on the roof here the Vice City Police Department, and I don't remember that staircase being there. Pretty sure that wasn't always there in the original Vice City. Okay, let's take this one out. Only one more to go? This ain't too bad. Alright, let's go ahead and do this thing. Where's the other one? Uh, right over there? No problem. And they even gave us an armor pickup. Whoa, if I could actually hit the thing. Alright, cool. Oh, in Little Havana? Okay, wow, they're all over the place. It's kind of cool they gave us a helicopter here. That'll definitely help out. Uh, damn, that evidence thing is filling up quick, though. I'm not sure I can make it all the way downtown that fast. I'm trying to remember where the other police departments are, because I'm guessing there's probably going to be more than two. I think there might be a third one in downtown Vice City, um, if memory serves correctly, and I believe it does. Let's go ahead and fly on over to Little Havana, though. Damn, though, this is totally what I've been waiting for. Love missions like this. Oh, man. But, uh, yeah, I've been playing a ton of Far Cry 3 now that I finally have it. Uh, funny thing, I actually played Blood Dragon before Far Cry 3. Uh, Blood Dragon being the sort of, not really an expansion, but they made an all-new game using the Far Cry 3 engine. I'm sure most people have definitely heard about it. It's gotten really, really popular really quickly. But, uh, yeah, I played that first, and it's kind of almost a demo to Far Cry 3, because, I mean, the gameplay is essentially the same in most regards. But, uh, it's kind of a full-length title. I mean, not a full retail game, of course. It's only 15 bucks, so you can't expect it to be that long. But, uh, gave me a pretty good offering of what Far Cry 3 was going to be, so... In that sense, it definitely sold me on getting the game. Alright, so let's go ahead and take out these antennae. And it seems like we get another wanted star for each one we take out. We're already up to three. Alright, you guys are dropping like flies. Not even gonna worry about those guys. Now, all I have to do is worry about running out of ammo. That would kind of suck. Although, it did say we could use grenades, but I don't think I have too many of those either. 
and I'd rather not. Okay. Well, guys, I hope you're having a marvelous day today. Uh, probably by the time I post this video, it's, well, it's actually Thursday night right now, but I'm sure it'll probably get to you sometime on Friday. So that being the case, I'd just like to wish you a happy early start to your weekends. Hopefully it's going to be a good one. Unless, of course, you're not watching this video on the Friday that I post it, in which case, this is not relevant to you because it's no longer the day I'm talking about. Oh, joy. Yeah, I had just one too many double-shot espressos before I started recording this video. Wowie, I'm ready to go. All right, let's kill some some bitches. You mess with the bull, you're gonna get the horns, and right now this bull is rampaging right through the world's largest china shop. Oh, I need to calm the fuck down. All right, back to Earth, back to reality, ready to take out these last two antennae. At least I'm assuming they're the last two, because if there are any more after this, that evidence bar is gonna be filled up. Whoa, 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 okay, there are dudes down there. I do not want to land right next to the antenna. Um, maybe I should land on this building across the way. And hopefully I just don't miss with this rocket launcher, because I only got two shots left, so I gotta make them count. Ooh. That helicopter is gonna be very annoying, isn't it? Why don't you just amscray? Go do something else. Alright. Uh, oh my god, I'm getting shot here. Crap, hola. All right, damn, a five-star wanted level. This is getting insane. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, awesome. You stop the DAA collect, ugh, the DEA collecting evidence. Now reduce your wanted level to zero. Oh god, how am I gonna do that? All right, let's just go ahead and get out of here before the SWAT come down on us. Uh, don't blow me up, don't blow me up. Oh Christ, do not blow me up. What? What the fuck? No, 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 but bullshit, bull. How can that happen? That's not... What? I don't even... Oh my god. Okay, no, 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 no. Replay that. Replay that. What happened? <laughs> I call so many shenanigans on that. That was... No, there is no way I should have been busted there. Okay, well that's the first time I've ever been arrested in this game, so I can at least show this off. In Vice City Stories, when you get busted by the cops, you can buy back your weapons for $2,000, which is not a feature in previous Grand Theft Auto games, I believe. Um, in San Andreas, you could kind of do that if you were dating a certain girl. You could get your weapons back for free when you're busted, but uh, that's in that game. And uh, also, this taxi, if you fail a mission, it takes you back to uh, the mission point. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward to once I've gotten to the same point I was previously at in the mission. So once I've accomplished that, I will rejoin you guys in just a second. But first, I got to pop some Xanax or something. That is just bonkers. Okay, guys, we are back here. I am flying over to the uh, last two antenna that I blew up. I'm going to do that part again. And this time I'm going to be watching out for SWAT guys to descend down on this building. First of all... I wasn't expecting them to actually, actually like, land there. I forgot that uh, the uh, SWAT helicopters can drop guys down. They can kind of, like, rappel down. So uh, when the other helicopter shows up, I may just shoot it out of the air to be safe. But let's see if I can get away. Oh, no, 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 no. Get out, get out, get out. Okay, I do not want to get busted again. Uh, police officers, SWAT guys, whatever, can only bust you if you're in a vehicle. If they manage to grab you and throw you out, that is when you get busted. So, uh... Now that we've dealt with those guys... Oh, no, 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 God, get out again. Jeez, how many of these guys dropped down from that damn helicopter? You know, I'm just gonna blow this thing out of the air. No two ways about it. All right, that's done for. Okay, let's do this thing. Um, no, 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 oh, God, do not blow up right there. Oh, please, God, no, please don't blow up. Oh, my God, okay, I was scared. I thought that, uh, that helicopter blowing up was gonna blow mine up. That would've really sucked, because I would have no way down. And in that case, it definitely would have been a failure. Alright, so now what to do about this wand level? We need to land and get into a civilian car. We can't uh, take a cop vehicle, because as we learned a couple episodes ago, uh, they do not respray those at a pan spray. So I need to fly around until I can see a civilian vehicle, then quickly land and get into it, and drive to a pan spray. All the while, I've got FBI after me, I've got SWAT after me. Oh, I don't even know how I'm going to do this. Uh, where would be the safest place to land, I guess? 
Like, I'll make up my mind quick. I see tons of cars on the ground just waiting to shoot me down. Uh, maybe over here, like, in Little Havana, there might be, a, like, a Cuban gangbanger car or something like that that I could take. I'm pretty sure you can respray those. Oh, oh, that one, that one. I want that red one. Right there. Okay, cool. Oh god, oh god. Bail out, bail out. Run away. What? Red balloon burst? Are, are you kidding me? What in the hell? How did I burst a red balloon? Um, red balloons are this game's equivalent of hidden packages. Basically, there's 99 red balloons, and if you get the song reference, good for you. Have a cookie. But, um, yeah, basically, they're the hidden packages of the game. Instead of collecting them, you need to pop them. And I guess I just popped one by accident? I totally didn't mean to do that. I was actually going to save the red balloons for a later part of the game. Um... Oh, sweet. Mission passed. $300? Why such a measly amount of money? I don't even know. Okay, a text from Renee. Renee, whatever that person's name is. Uh, something about a lucrative contract for you. I need to calm down. Hugs. I, I am not shooting that kind of film. Okay, well, I guess in the next episode, it looks like all that's left are missions for this mystery person. Renee, whoever. Um... So that's what we'll do next time, but I seriously need to catch my breath after all that hecticness. So, uh, I'm going to be ending off the episode here today. I hope that you enjoyed it. Once again, my name is Jesus Quesadilla. If you really enjoyed this episode, please feel free to subscribe to me. Uh, that way you can be kept in the loop and be informed anytime I post new episodes to my channel in this and in my other series. But uh, otherwise, guys, thanks for joining me here today. And until next time, this is Jesus Quesadilla wishing you well and signing out. Oh, and guess what? I fought the law, and I won, sucker! Yeah! Peace!